Hi, I'm Matt with Appliancevideo.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the pump on this Whirlpool Swash clothing care system. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. You will need the following tools before you begin this repair. A quarter inch nut driver, a T20 Torx driver, and a flathead screwdriver. If you have a defective pump, you will typically find some solution left in the pod after a cycle is completed. To begin this repair, we'll first remove the back panel. To begin this repair, the first thing we're gonna do is just remove the drawer. Set that off to the side. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and remove all the Torx screws around the perimeter of the back panel. All right, now that you've got your screws removed, just go ahead and remove the back panel. With the back panel removed, we can now remove the top cover. To do so, just slide it back slightly. And lift up on the back side, and that's gonna release your tabs that you have underneath here. And we're just gonna set this to the side. Now that we have our top outer cover removed, we're gonna go ahead and remove the top inner cover. Uh, it's held on by six quarter inch screws. Once the screws are removed, you can just lift the cover off and set it aside. Now that we've got our top cover removed, we've got access to the pump. Uh, to remove the pump, we're gonna go ahead and start by disconnecting our two quick connects here. Just basically push in on the outside ring, push your line in and then pull back out. Do the same thing on the other side. Now that those are released, we can go ahead and remove our two connectors here to the pump. You can use a little flathead screwdriver if they're kind of hard to get them off. Uh, you got your wires disconnected. Gonna go ahead and remove your hose on the other end. That's just gonna pull straight off. And we got four quarter inch screws holding it in place. Once the four screws are removed, you can just lift it up. The screws kind of want to just stay in the rubber gasket, so you'll just have to kind of pluck them out with your fingers because the new pump's not going to come with the screws. Now we've got our new pump. We'll go ahead and install it. Uh, you got this little 
basically cardboard gasket that's here. You just want to make sure that that's set in place. Set your pump right up on top of it. To align all your holes. And go ahead and reinstall your four quarter inch screws. Once your screws are installed, go ahead and reconnect your two lines. And they got little black marks on the lines, so it should push all the way up in so you can barely see the, the black mark. That's how you know it's fully seated, basically flush with the little green washer there. Go ahead and reconnect your two power wires. Doesn't matter which wire goes to which side because you're just completing a circuit. And we'll go ahead and reconnect our hose here. It pushes right onto the nipple. Should seat up all the way flush. All right, now the pump's installed. We can go ahead and reinstall our top metal cover. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our top metal cover. Uh, you wanna make sure that when you're setting it down, your screw holes all line up and you're not pinching this hose. If you have it flipped around, then your hose is just gonna get crimped when you put the metal cover back on. So you've got a little slot there that that hose has to go through and you're gonna go ahead and reinstall your six quarter inch screws on the cover. Now we can put the top outer cover on. Now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our top cover. Set it in place and push it forward to lock your tabs. Now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the back panel. Now we can go ahead and reinstall our back panel. Now we'll go ahead and reinstall your eight Torx screws. Next, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the drawer. And that's gonna complete the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.